Hello and welcome to another Emmett Apparel video. Today we'll be going over how to define your target market and why it's so important that you do. Without aiming at a target, you're missing 100% of the time. And this is super true for your clothing brand as well, but this is applicable to nearly any business. Defining your target audience is just like young and alternative individuals between the ages of 18 and 40 just isn't gonna cut it. You need to go a little bit deeper than that. Try your very best to dig deep and not make it too broad and general because the smaller your target market is, the better you'll be able to provide for them. So actually, what exactly is a target market? A target market is easily defined as a set of consumers at which your product is aimed. They share similar needs and characteristics that your brand will cater for. These are the people that are most likely to buy into your brand and create that all-important sense of community that goes along with your brand. Now it's important to note that when you target a specific audience, you aren't actually excluding consumers that don't fit your criteria, but you're rather focusing on the people that are more likely to buy into your range. You're simply choosing to focus on the consumers that will most likely engage with your brand. That doesn't mean that no one else can. With a well-defined target audience, it is a lot easier to decide how and where to market your range. Now you might be wondering at this point, how do I find out what my target market is? Well, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It will differ depending on each and every scenario. But the key will be to make it as detailed as possible. So you could do this in a multitude of ways. Your friends share similar interests to who you think your target market will be. You can just simply speak to your friends and your family and find out sort of this informal information and then shape an idea of what your target market is. Or you can go a little bit more formal and send out some email questionnaires. You can use services like SurveyMonkey, for example. Or you can even simply surf the internet and see if the information you're looking for is already available. Now, as soon as you have this outline and this idea of who your target audience is and what they're interested in, the next step would be to try to narrow down the description of your ideal customer. Now, for this, you can focus on certain demographics like their age, their gender, their occupation, their income or their family status. You can also look at their lifestyle in terms of where they are, what they like to do, and where they like to travel to. You can look at certain personality traits or attributes or values, behaviors, and interests. And you can also look at their buying habits, like what have they bought in the past and what are they looking at buying in the future. Also, the things that they look for when they make impulse purchases. Now, throughout this whole process of gathering as much info as you possibly can, it's inevitable that you will see some similarities and some tangents come all the way through. And those are the things that you want to focus on. Here are a couple of extra things to consider after you've gathered all this data just to see if your target market will be effective. So the first question would be, does your target market see a need for your product? Of course, people don't spend their money on things they don't need or want, and a need could be a superficial want as well. But is this product solving a problem for them? The next question is, can they afford your services? If your target market is in a certain income bracket and you're product is quite expensive compared to all the other products that they buy, it's very likely that they won't end up investing in your product. I said at the beginning that you want to get your target market as narrow down as possible, but if your target market comes down to about 20 people that live in a specific area, it's probably not going to get your company very far. So while you don't want your target market to be the whole of South Africa, for example, you maybe want your target market to fit into something realistic like a million people rather than a hundred people. And the last question is, are they reachable or easily accessible? If you can't get to your consumers, how are they supposed to get to your product? And that's basically it. Once you've done all of this research, it will help you so much to put your scarce resources to the best use that you possibly can. And it will simplify the entire marketing process for you. No more throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. You know exactly what your target market are looking for, who they are and where they are, so you can figure out the best way to market directly to them. This will also give you more clarity on processes such as product development, marketing and your overall business decisions. You'll be able to see what's working and what needs tweaking and be able to focus on selling what people actually want to buy. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative, please do give us a like and subscribe for more like this in future. And if you have any questions, please leave us a comment below. We will answer each and every one.